Hi, I'm Brian Grants here at the Volo Auto Museum, and today we're going to take a look at this late 80s Cadillac. I know what you're thinking, why would you have a late 80s Cadillac in the museum? Well, this one's kind of a big deal. As a matter of fact, it's huge. This Cadillac has ties to Donald Trump. Not so much that, you know, he drove around into it, but it was also a Trump edition. Now you've heard of like the Eddie Bauer edition Fords and maybe even the Frank Sinatra Chryslers, but Cadillac and Donald Trump got together in the late 80s to produce a Trump series Cadillac limousine that was gonna be part of the Cadillac lineup. They were supposed to build tons of them. Donald Trump himself even committed to buying 50 of them. They only built two prototypes and then they scrapped the project. Why they scrapped the project? Well, it depends who you ask. If you ask Cadillac and you ask Donald Trump, you're gonna get two different stories. Now, the car itself was supposed to be the most luxurious limousine ever produced. It was an executive office on wheels, paper shredders, safe. Everything is gold plated, of course. A wet bar, TV, VCR. They even raised the roof line to produce more headroom in there. Now, once the two cars were built, they ended up both going to the Trump family. One of them went to Donald Trump, and one of them went to uh, Trump Sr. Now, the cars were only used for a short period of time. Uh, up until 1991, this was used, and then it was parked and pretty much forgotten about. The cars only had about 4,000 miles put on it since the Trumps got rid of it. And we found it sitting in a barn. So it was a complete barn find with only 20,000 original miles. Now you can come see this, along with many other cars in our rich and famous collection here at the Volo Auto Museum. It's one of 33 exhibits that we have on display, and you can find them all at volocars.com, and you can also go to our social media.